Welcome to another video from explainingcomputers.com. This time I want to talk about the future of the hard disk drive, and indeed how hard drives may cease to be manufactured products in the next 5 to 10 years. Now the thing that's got me thinking about this is I've just purchased this thing. This is an SSD, this is a Samsung 850 Pro, it's 512 gigabytes. And in case you're wondering, why have you purchased that, Chris? Well, I purchased to replace the Samsung 830 Pro 256 gigabyte drive in my video editing PC, which is currently the system drive, and which always seems to be full despite however much I clear it out. It's nearly five years old, so it seemed time to replace it with a newer and larger capacity SSD. But when I was specking this drive, looking around the catalogues and the prices and things, I noticed that the sweet spot for the price of SSD storage is now roughly half a terabyte. It's the 512 gigabyte drive. So up to that point you pay more, and then beyond the 512 gigabyte, the prices go up and up and up. But if you do go beyond this capacity, you can now buy a two terabyte Samsung 850 Pro SSD. And you could even buy a four terabyte Samsung Evo SSD. Yes, you can buy four terabyte standard SATA format SSDs. It's quite extraordinary. And you can also buy one from SanDisk called the Optimus Max, but the Evo from uh, our friends at Samsung is, is a little bit cheaper. They're still ridiculously expensive. I've got no intention of buying a 4 terabyte SSD right now, but it has made me think I could replace the video drive, currently a Western Digital um, black um, hard drive in my video editing PC, with an SSD. And it won't be that many years before I will be replacing it with an SSD. Because although SSDs at four terabytes are very expensive at the moment, Samsung and others in time will get their research and development money back, their fabrication plants will write off the cost of being manufactured to produce those sort of drives. In two, three, four, five years' time, we will see multi terabyte SSDs for tens of dollars. And that has to mean that the manufacture of the hard drive will come to an end. Right, I thought we should do a bit of unboxing. Always good to have a bit of unboxing in a video. So we'll just take a, a brief look at this uh, Samsung 850 Pro SSD. Not going to be very exciting, but it's always nice to look at a new SSD. There it is, I told you. It wasn't very exciting. There'll be various discs and things and drivers under there. But I, I do find the modern SSD an amazing piece of equipment. I mean, this fits in, in the slot of a standard two and a half inch hard drive, but of course, inside this little metal case, there's just some circuit boards. And it's you know, a very different device if we compare it to the, the hard drives we've been using for years. Here's a one terabyte Western Digital um, black hard drive. That was my old video drive that I used for backups. Or we could have something like this, which is, uh, moving them across a bit, that's a, a two and a half inch drive, a, a Scorpio hard drive. And you know, very, very different technology. In some ways, it's amazing our computers are still based on, on this sort of stuff, these incredible mechanical devices. That computing is, is a massive electronic activity these days, and yet there are things spinning around in, in so many computers still. You know, this is it's full of memory chips. This thing, if we actually looked inside, would look something like this. We would actually see a real spinning disk. And I guess the thing that's most interesting to me about the hard drive, about the, the death of the hard drive as, as it comes along, is that the hard drive at the moment is still the only mechanical component left in our computer, other than I guess that the, the fan in the power supply. Everything else has gone fully electronic. The hard drive still is using incredible tolerance engineering to produce these amazing mechanical devices that we still rely on to, to run the internet and to store and process so much of our data. The first ever hard disk drive was shipped by IBM in 1956, which means today, in 2016, hard disks are 60 years old. And as I said at the start of this video, I really can't see hard disks getting to 70 years old, at least in terms of still being manufactured. So at some point in the next five or 10 years, hard disk will go the same way as the, uh, the VHS tape, which disappeared from manufacture not that long ago, and also the, uh, the floppy disk, all these means of storage, which were so much part of our lives, which are now disappearing. And part of me is rather sad about that. I like these old media. I like the idea that at the heart of many computers, at the heart of all the servers on the internet, there are still 
physical media, spinning disc, things dependent on mechanical engineering. And yet, having said that, having effectively said I don't want to see the end of the hard drive, if I look at my own activity in computing, well, I now use tablets. They don't have a hard drive inside them. The first thing I did when I bought my uh, netbook was to replace the hard drive with an SSD. My i3 PC has got two SSDs inside it, no hard drive. My video editing PC, as I said at the start of this piece, has got a hard drive in for video, but an SSD as, as the boot drive. So I do still use hard disk for that purpose and for lots of backing up. But I can also see in my next, say, five and 10 years, that'll cease to happen. So, I think I'm now going to go and fit my lovely new uh, Samsung SSD in my video editing PC. But if you've got views about uh, hard drives, you've got memories of a particular disk, do let us all know down in, down in the comments. I can remember the first hard drive I ever used had a capacity of 20 megabytes. How things have changed in not that many years. So, now that's it for another video. If you've enjoyed this, please press that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, and I hope to talk to you again very soon.